Elon Musk has gone completely insane. The billionaire CEO behind SpaceX is determined to leave all his competitors in the dust as the company is constructing one of the largest rocket factories ever conceived. But it remains to be seen if the fast pace of expansion will be fruitful or if a more deliberate approach is needed. Let's talk about SpaceX's vision for the future and the progress they have made at Starbase and their facilities in Florida. To transform the vision of establishing a colony on Mars from a mere concept into a reality, SpaceX requires more than just temporary shelters. It needs robust and expansive facilities. This is precisely why the company is actively engaged in an initiative to enhance its production infrastructure. The Star Factory, an integral part of this expansion, represents a significant leap forward in the manufacturing of Starship. If you're familiar with Tesla's impressive Gigafactory, where 5,000 electric vehicles are manufactured every week, prepare to be amazed. SpaceX's Star Factory is poised to surpass even that level of ingenuity and scale, promising something truly extraordinary. Elon Musk has consistently been propelled by a grand and sweeping vision, one that envisions facilitating life on multiple planets, all in the interest of securing the future of the human race. Musk firmly holds the belief that founding a sustainable colony on Mars carries profound significance in safeguarding humanity from potential impending calamities on Earth. To achieve this audacious objective, Musk has disclosed his strategy to construct over a thousand Starship spacecraft, thereby charting a path toward this remarkable and ambitious feat. Elon draws a compelling analogy between the Starship and a contemporary Noah's Ark, a vehicle designed to rescue humanity from potential disasters and transport them to a new realm while Earth undergoes rejuvenation. While the prospect of constructing over a thousand spacecraft is undoubtedly formidable, it underscores Musk's strategic approach to rocket manufacturing, turning the seemingly implausible into an achievable reality. In essence, SpaceX's aspirations in constructing infrastructure to bolster its rocket program are monumental and expansive in scope. The expansion of SpaceX's main three-tent factory is not limited to the addition of a single larger permanent building. Reports indicate a much more extensive plan to replace all the tents at Starbase. What's even more remarkable is that the new SpaceX factory will undergo further growth with the construction of an additional seven buildings, akin to the existing Star Factory. Envisioning the culmination of this endeavor, the completed Star Factory is anticipated to be approximately eight times the size of a single building, equivalent to an impressive area of around 220,000 square meters. In terms of building height, it's plausible that the new structures will be engineered to match the height of the existing tents. Furthermore, there's a possibility of some buildings being designed to be taller, serving specific purposes such as manufacturing and research of larger components. To provide a sense of scale, a building spanning around 28,000 square meters would boast almost two and a half times the covered floor area of Starbase's three tents combined. Importantly, all of these spaces could theoretically be utilized for the assembly of ring and nose sections. In fact, the design of a mostly flat roof for these new buildings provides an interesting potential. SpaceX could effectively extend most of the stacks by adding an extra ring or two. This approach would lessen the number of sections and consequently, the stacking operations necessary for assembling a ship or booster. While structures like tents or sprung buildings can be appropriate for certain applications such as automotive manufacturing, the production of Starship presents a distinct scenario where a more permanent, flat ceiling building holds undeniable advantages. Having accumulated over two years of experience and data, SpaceX might have reached a point where they are sufficiently confident in their current Starship production methods to commit to the construction of Starbase's next evolutionary phase. To achieve these ambitious goals, SpaceX has been actively engaged in the expansion of Starbase. A recent development involves the construction of a new enigmatic structure at the propellant production site, also referred to as the Sanchez site. Observers initially noted scattered parts for this structure, but these components are now being assembled. Over the past week or so, this structure has gradually taken form. However, akin to many elements within the Starbase vicinity, the specific purpose of this structure remains shrouded in mystery. For now, the best course of action is to patiently observe and witness the evolution of this structure over time, ultimately revealing its intended function and eventual placement within the Starbase complex. Exciting progress is evident at the production site as the fifth level of the new Mega Bay has now been successfully completed. The primary construction of this expansive Mega Bay commenced during the week of May 22nd earlier this year. Impressively, all five levels have been assembled in less than three months, showcasing the rapid pace of development. This gives rise to the question if SpaceX intends to add even more levels on the Mega Bay, but the answer is nuanced. It's unlikely that additional levels like the fifth one will be introduced, at least not in the immediate future. The substantial components for these levels were manufactured at the Sanchez site before being transported to the production site for assembly. As of now, no new components are undergoing assembly, implying that any expansion of this magnitude may not occur in the near term. However, the Mega Bay will eventually require a roof section, which in a way implies that there will be further additions at the top although not of the same scale as the current levels. 
Directly in front of the bay lies the familiar ring yard, which has recently been emptied. Initially, this move sparked speculation about the introduction of something new and exciting. However, it has come to light that the clearing of the ring yard was undertaken with a specific purpose, to reconfigure the LR11000 crane that played a pivotal role in constructing the new mega bay. The precise purpose for which this reconfigured crane will be employed remains open to debate. This adjustment may be geared towards aiding in the construction of the mega bay's roof, but that remains to be seen. In contrast to the dynamic and lively scene at Starbase, a quieter and more deliberate atmosphere can be observed in Florida. Towards the conclusion of 2022, SpaceX embarked on an accelerated operational pace at their launch facility in Florida. Ambitious plans were put in motion to establish a Starship factory here, intended to rival the scale of Starbase, and perhaps even surpass it in size. SpaceX put forth a proposal to extend its operations across an area of up to 100 acres at the Kennedy Space Center. Notably, they encountered minimal impediments in this endeavor and achieved specific milestones along the way. They successfully assembled a sizable Mechazilla II launch tower, along with the carriage system and the upper quick disconnect arm, known as the chopsticks. It's worth mentioning that these chopsticks are of shorter length compared to those at Starbase Texas and are in the final stages of completion. Apart from the introduction of the new tower and chopstick system, SpaceX has also implemented various other components at the Kennedy Space Center. This includes the installation of ground-level propellant tanks, a water deluge sound suppression system, and a circular launch mount designed for positioning the super heavy booster prior to liftoff. Throughout the early months of 2023, SpaceX has refrained from major advancements concerning the launch sites at the Kennedy Space Center. However, this lack of recent activity does not suggest abandonment of the launch site. Instead, it's plausible that SpaceX is strategically waiting for an optimal moment to resume construction and finalize the launch pad. This calculated approach may involve waiting until successful Starship launches are achieved at the Texas site before proceeding further with their plans in Florida. SpaceX has also envisioned constructing a Starship production facility next to Hangar X. Observers have noted instances where workers were engaged in cleanup efforts and survey work, presumably in preparation for establishing new foundations. However, recent signs point to a pause in progress, with no ongoing construction of a new building at the site. Presently, Activities at this location are predominantly centered on using it as a storage and maintenance facility for Falcon 9 rockets. However, the key factor is that Florida has been designated as the primary launch site for future Starship endeavors. As a result, noteworthy advancements in this area hold substantial importance. Regardless of whether these developments unfold sooner or later, Elon Musk has affirmed this direction. Musk articulated that he envisions Starbase fulfilling the role of an advanced research and development location serving as a platform to experiment with novel designs and iterations of the rocket. On the other hand, he indicated that Kennedy Space Center is slated to assume the role of SpaceX's main operational launch site. It's a thrilling and dynamic period for SpaceX, and the journey ahead holds immense promise. As they push boundaries, expand their infrastructure, and pioneer new technologies, it will be interesting to see if the company can indeed manufacture more than 1,000 starships. What do you think? Does SpaceX have the resources to meet these production needs, or will it need to add even more factories in the future? Do let us know in the comments section below.